I've been working on something pretty sweet the past couple of days. So, uh, let me show you. Here we have half of a mobility scooter. Um, this one has a dynamic controls shark controller. Let's see what the exact model is. Uh, DK PMA01. And of course, it's controlled by the Shark Bus, which I figured out is actually an RS485 bus. Um, I built this little controller using some information I found on the internet. Um, it's just kind of a rough prototype, but there's this, uh, this forum post that describes kind of how the, the wheelchair works, uh, how the protocol works, and they went as far as reverse engineering it to create a little controller, and I've kind of used it as a guide to create my own controller. Uh, now, it, it wasn't a step-for-step -step, uh, copy-paste type scenario. I mean, there are things that you have to modify along the way for your, your wheelchair. Um, for example, the startup packet, uh, which is used to wake this guy up and actually move, because um, otherwise it just sits in an off or standby state. But uh, I use my oscilloscope basically to figure that out, and uh, also this logic analyzer that I got off eBay for uh, 11 bucks. Um, it's actually a pretty good one. Uh, you should check it out if you don't have one. Uh, you could probably also use a bus pirate. I didn't use mine for this, but I imagine it would do about the same thing. Uh, anyways, this is what's left of my controller. Um, I pretty much just stripped it all down and then soldered on some connectors, uh, well, some pins here, because, well, it's not going to focus, is it? There we go. Uh, because I used the original connector for this controller. But uh, let me show you real quick that this guy works. This is pretty cool. So I have it hooked up right now via USB, uh, this little breakaway connector, in case, um, you know, it takes off. And of course, I don't want this laptop destroyed. But all I have to do is uh, if I open the serial terminal here and I type the power on command that I added see I get I'm sending out some bytes here and at the end I receive two back so now let me set this camera somewhere show you all right um, so I added two commands speed and direction and the way this works is you provide a value between 500 and 12 I believe it was and uh, what was it like 900 let's see let me check uh, 1023 and that will get you going forward on the speed command but if you reverse that and you go backwards from 0 to 511 then you can get any speed backwards as well so let me go ahead and do speed let's do 700 so kind of halfway oh I don't have it engaged hold on go. Speed 700. And there it goes. And then speed 512 to stop it. So I can also do direction and let's see above 512 would be clockwise so below would be counterclockwise. Let's do direction 300 to turn it around towards us. Oops. There we go. And I can 
can turn it back around the other way. Let's do 800. Stop it. And let's see, speed. I'll send it forward at 900. And turn it around. Actually, you get the point, but yeah, um, I'm kind of going to be creating a little uh, tutorial here showing you how you can replicate this uh, setup with your own uh, shirt controller um, or maybe another type of controller that you might have, but uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It took about three days. To get it all working and yeah so if you liked it give it a like um, and uh, I'll, I'll post another video showing how to actually build this